children's time. So if the children could please come up to the front for a little uh, story time and collect an offering while you're on your way. Um, our children's ministries are supported with your offerings right now. We don't mind you guys getting every last dollar that's out there. Thank you. Thank you for your offerings. Happy Sabbath. I'm going to tell you about uh, something that I used to say when I was little. Somebody taught it to me, and so then I said it, and I repeated it many times, and it goes like this. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. It took me all the way to be a grown-up to figure out that that was actually not true. Who, who started that lie? It's a lie. I have had broken bones, and they were never caused by sticks or stones. But you know what? I have been crushed by words. Have you had words hurt you? Now, I would tell my cousin, sticks and stones don't break my bones, because she would call me names, and we were being silly, and I wanted her to know she wasn't really hurting my feelings, because she was my cousin, and we loved each other, and it was a game we played, but I've had friends that have hurt. I have hurt other people's feelings. I have hurt people with my words, and I know I have. So I wonder, I, I wonder if we should keep saying that, that silly rhyme, because sticks and stones don't very often break bones, but words can really hurt. You know, I said something the other day that wasn't very nice. And I know this is a safe place, and I can tell you about these things. Because I trust you, you're my church family. And if I, if I need you, you're going to be there for me, right? I can trust you. I was actually at work. And I said to my coworker, this day has started out awful. It is going to be a bad day. She said, listen to this. She said, I cancel that in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I thought, did I just order a bad day like somebody orders a plate of tacos? I did. I said, I take it back, too. I cancel that, too. I agree. Words are very powerful. 
And the first words we say in the morning can affect our entire day. If we wake up with cross words, or if we aren't nice to ourselves in the morning, the whole day can just be downhill from there. So I want to tell you that words are powerful. We were created in the image of Jesus, and when he said, let there be light, what happened? There was light. So if we say this is going to be a good day, our mind adjusts and agrees and makes it a good day. The Bible tells us about the importance of words. Let me read to you from Proverbs 18.21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Let's remember that our words are powerful, and let's speak life. Thank you. You can go back to your seats.